Hello everyone! Today I'm going to present you our paper Graphics Interfaces in ADAS from Requirement to Implementation. The contents of our paper First of all, we introduce the motivation and the requirement that lead us to create these interfaces. Next, we integrate with our European project and we will talk about homologation and the actual implementation for the 2D and 3D visualization. Let's dive in! Motivation From advanced driver assistance system to autonomous driving. From partially to fully autonomous vehicle, the driver must know what happens, always. Not only a passive user inside a vehicle, because passivity could rise up the probability of more sickness, but also for unchanged, unchanged, unchanged perception, perception and for a level of shared threaded control and automation. And also the HMI, human machine interfaces, for others must be properly designed. Let's see our projects. Maza, Pristine and Class. Maza is the Modena Automotive Smart Area. It is uh, a pilot research project developed to a public-private partnership aiming at the development of smart mobility and autonomous driving. Uh, Maza was born in Modena, in the heart of the Motor Valley. So, research and testing activity concern interaction between vehicles, interaction between vehicles and in motion obstacle, and interaction between vehicle and the city with different protocols. For Pristine, uh, the goal of Pristine is to realize fail operational urban surround perception, uh, which is based on uh, radar and lidar sensor, and also in shared control. And the last one is Class. Class is a framework capable of processing in real time all information of a smart city. Um, so Class can collect um, a lot of data in real time and process it. But why uh, we are developing a 2D and 3D? Right now uh, the, 2D verse, uh, the 2D and 3D together will be astonished, who knows, but right now we can have the 2D parts, part also called cockpit, situated behind the steering wheel and then the 3D part will be situated on the right of, of the driver. 2D is critically evolving, but the 3D probably will be the cockpit of the future. So right now could also we could also have a hybrid visualization with 2D and 3D on the same display. Our requirements, they uh, guide us. First, we aim we aimed at Balancing the cognitive workloads. What is meaning? What this is meaning? Um, in the modern vehicles equipped with digital dashboard, uh, we are able to inform the driver with a lot of information. For example, coming from vehicle sensor and the surrounding city infrastructure and so on. And this is rise uh, a new challenges. One of the challenges uh, is related to calibration of the amount of information to be provided to the user. According to different situations, the vehicle should be able to adapt the level and the complexity of the information. Um, for example, when no danger is expected, the vehicle could provide the user with more details about the surrounding environment and allow, to, uh, and allow him or her to activate and handle the infotainment feature. But, uh, Otherwise, in a dangerous situation, the vehicle should be uh, should mani minimize the information provided in order to focus the driver's attention to on the action that needs to, to be accomplished. And also, the other requirement is the negotiation-based uh, interaction for autonomous driving in vehicles equipped with uh, automated driving functions. The HMI. Uh, continues to play an essential role. It should be able to promptly, promptly inform the driver about the responsibility related to each agent to keep the driver in the control loop when his or her attention uh, is needed and to support the transition of control. For example, uh, for example, sorry, <laughs> for example, when the human is uh, expected to resume 
the vehicle control due to a vehicle request or also um, also called um, takeover request um, we also read about several study several studies that show that informing the driver about the relation rati rational of the decision making is able to increase the acceptance and the trust in the automated system and the last one is 3d mapping for achieving spatial awareness um, a 3d view is able to improve the recognition of the semantic of spatial information uh, because we um, because it could provide a better representation of vehicles around it um, also authorities um, brought a lot of certification to indicate that only certain information can be provided to a 3D uh, representation and so we um, right now we see the regulations that guide also us in this 2D and 3D visualization for an HMI the user input handling so the direct integration possibilities provided to the user must be strongly restricted and minimized the dealing with multiple windows so the user must not be able to arbitrarily create different windows for showing different visual elements the non-interference with safety critical autonomous driving components um, if the HMI and AD uh, shared the same resource and mod monitoring and logging capabilities so the system must be able to detect and log unexpected behavior what's about the regulation compliance in every condition um, the driver will be able to monitor the most relevant, relevant things we also focus on legibility of uh, textual information so um, have been done in order to allow the user to always be able to read all relevant information that influence the text and sides considered from the eyes to the cockpit a task-based approach uh, this meaning that the priority in visualization has been given to the relevant information actually needed to by the driver to dynamically accomplish uh, with his task or subtask in every moment and we must inform the driver about his role okay always for accomplish this we design a dedicated area in the upper part of the instrument cluster uh, where this information is always displayed and we use a cooperative approach with colloquial communication what is mean what is this what is mean uh, for accomplish this uh, we design uh, uh, no sorry um, since one of the concept behind the design uh, uh, of this HMI is to foster a cooperative approach we decide to use a colloquial communication one and inform not related to the vehicle state but related to the action requested to the driver for example you drive instead of manual mode okay and change the representation to include or remove some information based on the level of control okay all of these uh, interactions were finalized at increasing the overall trust in the system but how we can homologate our vehicle to homologate our vehicle there's a lot of normative standards that must be followed these normatives can change in different country countries and could be different based on the vehicle type the normative can group us vehicle indicators for example light indicators windshield actuators system failure and limitations malfunctioning brake system others malfunction fluid condition and so on vehicle function issues issue uh, engine oil pressure um, uh, electrical charge and so on comfort information is the last one for all of this aspect uh, regulation are provided so to suggest to the system designer with proper picture representation for example uh, illumination and color but these standards don't take into account the requirement related to a different level of formatation 
automation, automation for uh, others. And there are uh, different separated modules that do not integrate this uh, with the user perspective. So how we solve this lack of information? We are merging both 2D and 3D interface. And what are the key design for our 2D and 3D visualization? So we implemented our 2D interface with a key design principle and the requirement given by the authority like the minimal intrusiveness so the HMI interface must, must not distract the driver or increase too much the cognitive workload the trust in automation to reduce the anxiety uh, anxiety, anxiety um, given from unexpected variation from transaction between manual to automatic and vice versa that is the most critical aspect and with multiple scenarios so let's introduce our first scenario our first scenario of Pristine uh, we have an interconnected city with lots of devices that can communicate with our car in different ways we consider, for example, a traffic light in this scenario that sends its status to the vehicle like the color and the time to change and our car is, uh, is able to compute the optimal velocity or approach speed by adjusting its acceleration to reach the traffic light during uh, the green light for instance a car could request or will request for uh, taking control over the longitud longitudinal control or can simplify inform the driver of the recommended speed as you can see in the picture our 2D HMI notify with a simple road sign that target speed and the current speed is colored with a red with a little tiny arrow that notify the driver to slow down to take full advantage of the time to change also in the bottom left of our HMI we have the traffic light with the time to change another uh, interesting scenario of Preston is a scenario where a L4 vehicle, automated vehicle, takes incremental control uh, over an increasingly distracted driver please don't stay always at the phone when you are driving so let's see how the HMI changing the look and feel first, in this picture we can see that the car throws a Nisway warning to the distracted driver you are distracted keep your eyes on the road please okay and in the second picture okay um, our driver is constantly distracted in the second picture the car um, the car uh, taking over lateral control to avoid lane deviations and at the end the car taking uh, take the full um, control of the vehicle for a well-defined amount of time or kilometers um, right now the vehicle is fully autonomous in this one the information on the current speed and the gear are removed for a different layout that provide more information about the time to control with a relaxing layout with green and white color what are our technical design the HMI should uh, the HMI may run or on a dedicated board, for example, tablet or touch screen. HMI receiving from the ID stack autonomous driving the meta information, and there is no interference from HMI to the autonomous driving stack. And those the 2D HMI is developed in QT graphical library, and the 3D part is developing in relief because it's a light a uh, light library our 3D view recent advancement in, embed in uh, embedded and integrated GPU device allow the system to provide a 3D render of the surrounding area so the 3D permits our presentation of informationally of information normally hidden to the driver 
if the car is also connected through a smart city infrastructure. To this purpose, we designed and implemented a virtual cockpit able to leverage 3D graphics for rendering information um, related uh, a really ex exciting uh, instrument urban area in the MASA. In the, figure, in, the feature, in the figure, the data collected by the car is rendered in our 3D view, uh, view in order to show a uh, road user driver, uh, dry line of sight or car sensor traffic light timing, driving direction and the hazard, hazard situations are depicted, depicted by shading nearby road users using a heat map uh, scheme. Uh, we also implemented a extended safety ellipse. So, um, this scheme uh, wraps a needle ellipse centered on the vehicle. If an agent is near the car, uh, its color will be orange or reddish. And if the agent is, isn't very close to the vehicle, its color will be um, a transition from a natural white or blue uh, tint to a yellow orange tint according to the distance that this object has from the car. Uh, we also render the state of the traffic light to inform um, of countdown with transaction from green uh, to yellow and red for the time to change. For avoid um, excessive cognitive workloads, uh, the, uh, for the driver, we provide a simplified and non-realistic render of a small subset of objects that surround the ego vehicle. We refer to the ego vehicle uh, um, as the visual representation of the currently driven car. So, the, driggle, the ego vehicle has a higher triangle count mesh compared to the other agents. And also, for uh, example, we can see here that pedestrian and bike has a very low triangle mesh, uh, triangle count mesh, okay? And also we have a placeholder of the car, the motorbike and the bus. And we could have also other ego vehicle with high triangle mesh. Another scenario. <coughs> we also um, rendered the path of our ego vehicle. For example, in this picture we have another scenario um, over we show a situation where the driver hasn't a direct visibility of the pedestrian situated behind the buildings, the building. But our 3D viewer, um, our 3D visualization uh, can inform the driver about the hidden pedestrian. The conclusion, in this paper we described our experience in designing an HMI in autonomous vehicle. With this work we aimed to provide useful insight for system designer in a way in which such regulation might be interpreted from uh, various certification authorities. And our work is based on both 2D and 3D uh, graphics interface that were specifically, specifically designed to maximize the visual appealing without re uh, resorting to excessive computational load for the in-vehicle computer or excessive cognitive load for the human user. This is a real uh, working solution of pristine and class in the smart urban area MASA at Modena, Italy. We hope that this paper will inspire and guide uh, other people in designing HMI and thank you for your attention and stay safe. Goodbye.